Okay guys, so I've seen this question asked a couple of times and I just want to make a, a little in-depth video on um, proper valve lash adjustment. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take off this rope, the, the pull cord cover. So just three little M8 bolts. Set them aside. And then take the flywheel cover off after taking off the spark plug boot. Take the flywheel cover off and be mindful that there are three of these little spaces. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to use a 16mm spark plug puller to get the spark plug out. Then take your four cam cover bolts out. And so now we've got access to the valves and um, the flywheel allowing us to turn it either way rather than just one with the pull cord. Now, the what I've seen done most wrong about this is people aren't making sure it's the compression stroke. So four strokes have two top dead centers and you need to make sure that it's the top dead center of the compression stroke. Otherwise you're going to be setting your valves wrong and it's your engine's going to run horribly and it's just, it's not going to run right. So get a torch and you look down through the spark plug and you have a look at the piston you watch the piston go down all the way back up and now it's a top dead center but that's not the compression stroke because both of your valves are tight if you undid everything and tried to correct the valve lash now your engine would just run horribly so let it go down again and then come back up to top dead center and look at that, you've got play. Now, when setting them, you get your little Allen wrench, and you put it in there, and you use a spanner to undo the nut. Now that nut's loose just because I left it loose. All right, now you get your feeler gauge. And the ones that I've found that work both, the work best, We've got a four for the intake and six for the exhaust. So you put your feeler gauge inside in between the, the rocker and the valve springs. And then you tighten it up with the little Allen wrench until there's just a little bit of friction on that feeler gauge. Just a little bit of friction there. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hold that Allen wrench nice without moving it and tighten that nut back up nice and tight. There we go. So now that valve lash has been corrected. But there's just a little bit of friction. I've already done the exhaust, so the exhaust should be right. Yep. And so that's how you do it. And then all you do is you put everything back together and yeah, just piece it together in reverse. Put your cam cover on. Bolt. Bolt two. Bolt three. And bolt four. Tighten them up. They don't have to be torqued down. They don't have to be incredibly tight. They just have to stop oil from splashing around. So you tighten them back up. Then you put your spark plug back in. Using the 16mm spark plug puller. Then you put these, these funny little spaces back in. On the three bolts. 
sticking out. Then you put your flywheel cover on first. And you get your pull cord. Put a washer. Then the nut. And these don't have to be incredibly tight either. But just make sure that they're at least wrist tight. So wrist tight is just generally just the general pressure. Not incredibly tight. Not so tight you have to put both hands, but kind of just that until you start to feel pressure on your wrist. So do that back up. Kill switch down the side there. Spark plug boot back on. And there you go. It's as simple as it can be. Uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, and I hope you use this, set it properly, and just remember four, four for the intake, and six for the exhaust. Thank you, everyone. Have a safe weekend.